Kevin Federline is doing an interview, all things Britney Spears. This man hasn't spoken in almost a decade, but he's breaking his silence to let the world know his kids haven't seen her in months. They also decided they didn't want to go to her wedding. They are embarrassed by her Instagram posts and Kevin believes the conservatorship saved her life. Let's get into it. So this article covers some of what we're going to see in that interview this week. And um, you see a lot of pictures, by the way, of their kids and the boys are just so adorable. But Kevin goes in and he talks about how he thinks Jamie Spears made a little bit of mistakes here and there. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but he's a great dad and a great person and he's welcome in his home anytime. But sir, you have a restraining order on him. How's that going to work? Although it is running out, but like, okay, so <laughs> anybody against Britney, welcome to my home. So like I said, Kevin says, and I quote, the boys have decided they are not seeing her right now. It's been a few months since they've seen her. They made the decision not to go to her wedding. He also says he believes the controversial 13 year conservatorship by her father saved her. And now that she's out of it, the impact of her very public tribulations maybe having on her teenage sons is now Kevin's driving force. Is it me or does it sound like Kevin's looking for a way to make more money? But he says, this whole thing has been hard to watch, harder to live through, harder to watch my boys go through than anything else. He continues, it's been tough. It's the most challenging thing I've ever had to do in my life. He also talks about how there have been numerous parenting challenges throughout with Britney. And he talks about since Britney's release from the conservatorship, she's been posting nude selfies on social media. At the time, Kevin says he felt compelled to apologize to the boys for any flack they experienced as a result. He insists the boys love their mother, saying, I try to explain to them, look, maybe that's just another way she tries to express herself, but that doesn't take away from the fact of what it does to them. It's tough. I can't imagine how it feels to be a teenager having to go to high school. And he says the endless drama that Brittany is going through feels like it's worlds away, which is exactly how he wants his home to feel. He said, this is a normal home, a family full of love. Whatever is happening outside has nothing to do with this home. That's... I can't believe he said this is a normal home. He says, if there was a way, anyway, I could possibly say something to just open Britney's eyes, but I haven't found that yet. I feel like if I found that, I'd be on the phone trying to tell her. He also claims that when he heard about the divorce, he was blindsided. He called his attorney right away because all he wanted was 50-50 custody. He also claimed nothing else mattered. Nothing. I'm not the person that will take money over family. This will be continued in part two.